Hello friendos and welcome to my channel. I am BD and today I am presenting a new video for my The Nail Sesh series. A series featuring different DIY nail tutorials. In my previous acrylic nail video, I recreated a nail design from Instagram. If you have not seen that video, I will link it down below. And today I will be recreating another look from Instagram, which is this linear situation I've been seeing a lot. So if you want to see my twist on that, just keep watching. So prep work is the name of the game when it comes to applying your nails yourself. I want to make sure that I have a really good base before I apply my acrylic. So to start, I will be pushing back my cuticle with this cuticle pusher. And next, I'm going right in with my hand file to work on the cuticle area. So I really do like files that have a rounded edge like this. It helps me to get right into those hard to reach spaces on the nail bed surface, just to make sure that I remove any excess dead skin. I wanna make sure that I get that up because having that left on the surface when you apply the acrylic will definitely cause lifting. So I just wanna make sure that I get that up and these are the nails i will be using i purchased these on amazon and they're just these square tips in the natural shade i'm going to cut them down to my desired length and go from there And right now I'm going right in to shape my nails. I didn't clip these on the sides at all to get the shape. I just used my file because I'm just going for a tapered square shape. And once I have the desired shape on all of my nails, I'm going to go in with prepping and priming. So to prep, I am going to first dehydrate. And I'm using this dehydrator that I picked up from Sally Beauty Supply Store. And I'm just going to apply that to my natural nail bed. Next up, I will be using a primer two primers actually the first one I'm going to use is this kiss acrylic primer it came in the kiss acrylic set um, the kit that I got when I first started to do my nails myself about two years ago I still have this primer so I still use it but I'm just going to prime my nails with that first and then I will be going in with my second primer The second primer that I will be using is Protein Bond by Young Nails. I really like this primer. I saw this used in Tabitha Scott Nails. She is a licensed technician. She posts videos here on YouTube and she also always has amazing work, but I saw that she used this in her videos on her clients and she mentions that this is great for helping to prevent lifting as well. And in my experience, having used this now for about a year, it definitely does. So this is a must for me. Next up, I'm going to get started on the acrylic work. So I'll be using the Mia Secret Liquid Monomer. 
We'll also be using some Mia Secret uh, Cover Beige Acrylic Powder. The Mia Secret products are easily accessible on Amazon and pretty inexpensive, especially if you are a beginner like myself. And I really like these products. I have not had any issues with them thus far. And I think they are a good place to start or even if you're like an intermediate at home tech I think this is a good place to be with these products as well and for me because I am just like a normal person <laughs> doing their own nails very DIY I'm not licensed or anything like that I don't have a particular method that I follow when applying my acrylic beads um, I don't do the one bead or three bead systems I just use however many beads it takes to get it done <laughs> and that is also a tip that I would recommend to anyone just starting out don't feel that you have to um, stick to a particular format if it is not working for you um i just try to take my time here and i am working with my non-dominant hand um so i definitely have to take it slow and take my time and i'm just applying the beads where i feel that i need them as you can see this is the third bead i'm applying that a little closer to the free edge and when I get around the cuticle area, I like to use a very light amount of uh, acrylic first and kind of push it into the cuticle area instead of starting right up at the part where your cuticle is. Because when I have done that in the past or used too much acrylic in that area just right out the gate, it tends to flood the area and that will definitely cause lifting. So that is another thing to keep in mind definitely you do not want to flood your cuticle area definitely take a little acrylic at a time and build up if you need to do so So here are my nails after all the acrylic has been applied and now it is time to shape them. I am just going to use a hand file and this is a 180 by 100 grit file which is a medium and coarse grit file. The lower the number the more coarse it is so the back side of this file is the coarse side. And I use the coarse side to get rid of bulk and I use the finer medium grit side for refining the shape. Um, and I just flip back and forth depending on what is needed. So like right here, I refined a bit, then I noticed that I have a bit of bulk. So I'm going back to the coarse side and taking some of that down and just making sure that I have the shape that I want. For the cuticle area, definitely you want to make sure that while applying the acrylic, you don't put too much there. But to cap that and seal that area, I just take my file on the finer refined side and swing it slowly um, around the cuticle area just to make sure that it's sealed. 
and because all of that filing has kicked up a bunch of dust and left me with crusty cuticle areas I'm going to apply this cuticle oil rub it in a little bit and go and wash my hands to make sure that I get rid of all of that and I will be ready for the next step okay and now believe it or not it's time for the hard part so to get this neon orange i'm just going to use a regular nail polish because i did not have a gel one in this color and i'm going to clean off this nail brush from this nail art polish that i got from the dollar store to work with my lines this is the hardest part just because you have to have a very steady hand to get nice and neat clean lines and i do not have that so this took a very long time but i'm going to do the bridge version for this video so that I'm not keeping you here all day basically um, again I'm working with my non-dominant hand and I am just taking my time that is the main thing that I considered when doing this is that I couldn't rush through it I even use the edge of my table to give me a little bit more control and stability when working with these lines. And I just took my time and traced along the edges like so with as steady of a hand as I possibly could. And that's basically it. Just going to do that and I will be um, applying a second coat also just to make sure that this is a nice opaque color and that it shows very brightly another tip that i would add when polishing your nails or applying a fake nail acrylic definitely work with your non-dominant hand first um, i say this because i feel like if you work the opposite way and you use your dominant hand you're going to have more control obviously and the process is going to be a lot simpler so when you get to working with your non-dominant hand after that you're going to think that you can fly through it and it for me at least always turns out into like a really sloppy job so i just find that working with your non-dominant hand first you have more patience you take your time and you really concentrate or at least that is my experience when I start that way so that when I get to my dominant hand it is a breeze but at least the hands are pretty even in how they look so definitely recommend starting with your non-dominant hand first okay so now that the lines have all been drawn it is time to coat with my matte gel top coat the key here is to make sure that the regular polish is dry completely before you add a gel polish on top that way the regular nail polish won't crack underneath and because this was such a neon color it dry down to a matte finish anyway which let me know that it was dry so once it was ready to go i just added a thin coat of this matte top coat to all the nails and i cured for two minutes okay and now my other hand is complete so i'm going to just go ahead and do the same thing add my matte gel top coat to these nails and cure again for two minutes And here are my nails all done and ready to go. 
I think that I did a pretty okay job compared to the photo. Of course, my lines are a little bit more on the thick side, but you know, I actually like it this way. I think these look very chic and like designer nails. I don't know why they make me feel like that, but they do. Um, and I really like how they came out. If you did too, and if you're gonna try this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I definitely would love to hear your thoughts and I appreciate you so much for watching. I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers to 1K. So definitely, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will have more content on the way and I will see you in the next one. Bye.